Welcome to Frontline. We're now using Frontline to register for and track participation in professional development. Frontline replaces Go Sign Me Up, and we hope that you'll find it easier to use. Thus, Frontline is now a one-stop shop for noting absences, professional development, and your evaluations. So, to log in, you're going to go to FrontlineEducation.com, and when you do, you'll see this home screen. To log in, up on the top left-hand corner, you'll see a sign-in box. Click the sign in box and that will take you to this screen. This screen is full of tiles and the tiles that you're going to use the most are your absence management tile, which you're still going to use your phone number to log in at, and your PD and evaluation tile. To sign in, go ahead and click the sign in tab. When you click the sign in tab, you're going to land on this page. You're going to enter your information to log in right here. You're going to use your jpsny.org account and then put in your password. If you don't remember what your password is, just simply click Forget Password and it will send it to you. Once you get in, your landing page in Frontline is going to look like this. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to focus on My User Profile on the left-hand side. So second from the bottom above your change password, my user profile. When you click my user profile, your information comes up. The first thing that you'll want to do is you want to check to make sure that your bio information is correct. So make sure that your last name and first name are correct. Make sure your email notification preferences are as you want them to be. Make sure your JPS and Y account is your default. And then go down and check to make sure that you're located in the correct building, the correct department, and then finally the correct grade. Once you've got all that checked, make sure that you go ahead and you click Save. The next thing that we're going to focus in on yours is your past evaluations. Your evaluations will be located at the My Evaluations tab in the left-hand column. Now we're going to talk about the district catalog. The district catalog is located on the left again under activity catalogs. So go ahead and click district catalog. When you do, you'll notice on the left hand side, you're going to see the calendar for the year by month. Another way to look to see what you're going to do is type in what it is that you want in the bar or go to the calendars. The last thing that you can do is toggle down and see all of the course offerings that are available to you. Let's say we want to start strong in science and we look down at the course, des uh, course description. We see, ooh, Doug is teaching it. Let's sign up. So we're going to click sign up now. When we do, an enrolled comes onto the screen and you go back to the, your main screen. When you do that, you'll notice now that you are registered for start strong in science because Doug is teaching it. Now that we're in a class, let's talk about how we want to manage it. You look down and you can see that we are registered for Start Strong in Science 1.0 on October 1st. If we want to check our management, we'll click the Manage button and that will take us to a separate screen. We'll notice that we're registered from 8 to 3. Let's say, however, that we decided that we can't do that class and we need to drop it. If you just simply click Drop, you'll notice that we're now dropping that course. We type in our reason and hit Drop this request. When we do, that takes us to a screen that says request has been dropped, and then you simply need to hit the return key. Now, we're going to talk about how we're going to mark a class complete. Important here is that you remind your presenters that they need to not only take attendance during the class, but at the end of the class, if they could give you time to mark a class complete, that would be great. And here's how you're going to do that. You're going to go to your approved and in progress courses. You're going to click the manage button. That will take us to this screen. When we do that, go down to the bottom and click mark complete. This is a brand new step that we have to do this year. We have to mark the course complete. Now, let's say that we need to print off our certificates. In the past, we used to have our certificates printed for us, but that won't happen anymore. But you can still do those in Frontline, and here's how you're going to do that. You're going to go to your uh, completed classes, and you'll notice we've got one here. We're going to go ahead and click the Manage button, and it will take us to this screen. 
At the bottom of the screen, all you need to do is hit print certificate and you should be good to go. So that's Frontline Education, the professional development login and how to tailor your courses for this year, manage them, add them and drop them. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to contact your friendly instructional coach and we'll be at your beck and call. Thank you very much.